Welcome everyone to the uh, February 20th meeting of the District, Blue Water District School Board. Sorry for the delay, we try to start on time, but this is one of those nights when things just didn't go as fast as we hoped they would. So we're just starting a little bit late, cognizant of the weather outside. Um, so we will keep things moving now. I'd like to acknowledge that we're meeting on the traditional land of Saugeen Ojibwe Nation which is represented by the communities of Saugeen First Nation and Chippewas of Nawash Unceded First Nation. We also think of Métis Nation in Ontario, whose history and people are well represented in Bruce and Gray counties. Across our board, many students have been participating in Winter Olympic themes activities lately. Kind of hope that it involves more than watching, but uh, we'll see what we got coming up here. Staff have also been keeping physically active. There are 29 teams across our board which are competing in Workplace Wellness Challenge for the month of February. This initiative was coordinated by Blue Water's Organizational Health and Wellness Committee and ties in with our, strat our strategic priority around staff well being. While our efforts as a school board will always be focused on students, it's extremely important that we also recognize and continue to support the wellness and success of our staff. The challenge as well as, <coughs> excuse me, the challenge as well as our new alumni, uh, the challenge, comma, there. The challenge as well as our new alumni profile feature, which we will be hearing about in a few moments, are a few examples of initiatives aimed at highlighting our staff and supporting a positive work culture. For our moment of reflection, Please join me in acknowledging our well-being priority and shared role in ensuring a safe and supportive environment for teaching, learning, and working. Thank you. As usual, the first motion of the evening is that the agenda for the meeting of February 20th, 2018 be approved as printed. Could I have a mover to put that on the floor, please? Thank you, Trustee McComb and a seconder, Trustee Dawson. All those in favor? Opposed, if any? Thank you, it's carried. Do any trustees wish to declare a pecuniary interest on any of the items on the agenda tonight? It's a record show, I see none. And we have regrets this evening. Uh, we have regrets from Trustee Mason and Trustee Wong. And uh, Trustee Thompson is joining us by distance. Welcome, uh, Trustee Thompson. Two sets of minutes to approve. The first, uh, that the minutes of the regular meeting of the Board of January 23rd, 2018 be approved as printed. Could I have a mover, please? Thank you, Trustee Gabler, and a seconder, Trustee Morgan. Are there any errors or omissions to the minutes as they're presented to you? Seeing none, all those in favor of approving the minutes as presented? Opposed, if any? Thank you, it's carried. And now that the minutes of the Committee of the Whole Board meeting of February 6, 2018 be approved as printed. Could I have a mover for that, please? Thank you, Trustee, Tom, or Dawson, Trustee Dawson, seconded by Trustee McComb. Are there any errors or omissions to these minutes? Again, let the record show I see none. All those in favor of minutes as presented? Opposed, if any? Thank you, it's carried. Is there any business arising from the sets of minutes that will not be dealt with later on in the agenda? Again, I see none, thank you. Next motion is the Blue Water District School Board to receive the Blue Water District School Board Alumni Profiles Report for Information. Could I have a mover to put this on the floor, please? Thank you, Trustee Morgan, and seconded by Trustee Thompson. Our communications officer, Jamie Pettit, I believe is going to speak to this. Mr. Pettit? Or the director's going first?
Thank you, Chair Motts. It is indeed a pleasure to introduce our communications officer, uh, Jamie Pettit, who is going to share with you uh, an exciting project that we have underway now. Um, and uh, we're really pleased that we're able to be joined this evening by a couple of our staff who are going to share some of their experiences as graduates of Blue Water Schools uh, with us this evening. So I'll call upon uh, communications officer Pettit to introduce the staff and to uh, share with you a little bit about this project. Thank you very much, Director Murray. Good evening, everybody. So I'm very thrilled to be here this evening with a couple of special guests. You know, when we talk about communications plans for school boards, we often think about, obviously, we're in the, the business of uh, celebrating the success of our students and highlighting our various programs and whatnot, but we're doing something a little bit different this month because it's also very important to remember that, uh, you know, when you're putting together a Broadway production, as important as the cast of characters are, also very important are those who are working behind the scenes. So you have the set designers and the acting coaches and, and all of those various roles that come together to um, produce uh, a fantastic uh, production. So it's, it's the people behind the scenes who, who do a lot of work that uh, kind of set the tone for um, ensuring that the cast of characters are successful. So that's what we're here to talk about this evening. We're going to uh, feature a couple of the, uh, the people in our system who actualize our, our board vision of preparing our students today for the world of tomorrow. Now, a couple of months ago, um, as Director Murray transitioned into her new role, one of the, um, the key goals that she established, one of her key priorities for this past year, has been around the whole concept of staff wellness, so in enhanced uh, staff well-being, recognition, and positive work environments. And you heard about it, uh, uh, Chair Motts had mentioned it uh, as part of the moment of reflection a couple of minutes ago where he talked about some of those grassroots initiatives that are underway to work towards that goal. So, for example, the work of the Organizational Health and Wellness Committee and uh, this month's Workplace Wellness Challenge that's underway, and also our alumni profiles, which is what we're here to talk about. So a couple of months ago, we launched a, a brand new campaign, our, uh, our Blue Water Alumni Profiles. We, we put together um, some communications materials we're featuring on our board website, uh, basically encouraging any current staff, any current employees of Blue Water who are also former graduates of our board and by extension also the uh, former Gray and Bruce boards to uh, fill out a very brief survey monkey questionnaire which um, you know, asks some very basic questions about um, you know their current role within the system, schools that they attended in Blue Water where they graduated from and also um, once they had graduated some of those career pathways that they pursued so really tracking their educational journey in, in Blue Water and then coming full circle to have them share with us how they feel that um, their their past in Blue Water they, as a student helped prepare them for their, their current role serving the, uh, the, family, the students and families of Blue Water. So it's, it's actually been a, a, an excellent journey so far. We've had some, some really good uptake. Just to kind of give you a sense of how we're profiling these on our board website and also through uh, social media, our Twitter and uh, Facebook accounts. So it's, it's really given us an opportunity to start working through some of these sub submissions. We've received over 50 so far. And what we thought we would do is bring a couple of the subjects in this evening that we've already featured on our website. So we have John Diefenbaker Senior School uh, secondary teacher, Heather Bender, and also uh, Kyle Moyer, who is head custodian for Beavercrest Community School. So we thought that... I mean, it's great to read it on our website or on our social media, but we thought it would be great to actually hear them in person, elaborate a little bit on their profiles and um, share with us their educational journey through Blue Water as a student and, um, and their current roles now. So we'll, we'll actually ask uh, Kyle to come forward first and share some of his experiences. Hello, my name is Kyle George Moyer. 
I go by all three names. Son of Ralph and Jesse Lou Moyer, youngest of three sons. I went to Saugeen Valley Elementary School in Durham from 1988 to 1993, kindergarten to grade four. I fell down the stairs to the French room, got stitches above the eye. <laughs> My grandmother, two aunts, mother Jessie Lou, were filling head custodians and eventually head custodians at both Durham schools. I spent a lot of time with teachers' kids walking to the curling club and arena after school. Durham District Community School, grade five to grade eight, 1994 to 1997. School all day and at 3.15, Mondays and Thursdays, figure skating at the arena one kilometer away. <laughs> Precision and learn to skate coaching on Saturdays. All Blue Water staff and kids would carpool or walk to the arena. <laughs> Afterwards, I would walk back to DDCS to meet my mom for a ride home at 9 o'clock, help vacuum doormats, and head for home. Mom seen homework assignments written on the blackboard, no lying. <laughs> Gray Highland Secondary School, I leave Durham friends behind, and one of nine of a class of 60 head for the Highlands. Thank God for 4-H and the farm. I show up and know lots of people. <laughs> Embarrassed myself and older sibling on the football team in a chocolate fundraiser assembly. Grade nine, my new name, Chocolate Bunny. <laughs> no good at math, so I take those general courses. Parents insist the rest be advanced. This eventually leads me to Ridgetown College, University of Guelph for two years in horticulture. In OAC year, I take a cooperative education, interior decorating and landscaping. I meet Bev Cutting, boss, mentor, reference, and friend. Paid my way through college. <laughs> Finished college, apply for Blue Water District School Board, custodial. Nothing. <laughs> One year later, apply again. Nothing. <laughs> Finished college, oh, <laughs> currently. Oh, after that, I was asked in 2007 to join Blue Water District School Board as a custodian for 18 hours a week. Gladly, I accepted. Currently, I'm head custodian at Beavercrest Markdale. After five years of head custodian, Be Beaver Valley, Thornbury. Both amazing schools and amazing staff. I could list the schools I've worked for in Blue Water all day. I like working for Blue Water, the kids have good manners, and I have the supplies I need to excel. Also, trying to step back as well as lead has been a remarkable yet humbling experience. I recently was asked at a family reunion if I chose the same career path as one of my parents. Yes. I am now a third generation head custodian for Blue Water District School Board. Same as my now deceased mother, Jessie Lou Moyer, passed away in 2002. My Aunt June is head custodian at Egremont Community School in Holstein, where I received lots of training <laughs> along with Spruce Ridge Elementary in Durham. In a lot of the ways, Blue Water District School Board is still the same now as it was back then, and that keeps me smiling. Remember, remembering back to my mom saying, we're not going home until all those mats are vacuumed. <laughs> Thank you. That was great, Kyle. I remember Donna Main, my grade eight teacher at Norman B. Central, saying, we learn to read by reading, we learn to write by writing. Never underestimate the power of a great idea. Um, that mantra has stuck with me. And um, I also remember her calling me into a private conference where she said, Heather, you are very smart and you need to work hard. Of course, when I was commiserating with my friends shortly after, I realized they'd all had similar conferences and <laughs> been told the same encouraging words. But, you know, if I was to highlight my experience with teachers at Norman B. Central, I would say high expectations, fairness, and kindness. Alan Simpson inspired me with his stories of backpacking in Eastern Europe during the midst of the Cold War. I know I'm dating myself, Kyle. Um, he taught me French, but he could also speak Russian. And um, Bruce Iserman had a master's degree in English Lit from the University of Toronto. He had studied with Northrop Fry. He could explicate literature in the most inspiring ways, but he was also 
busy doing his own creative writing and publishing in poetry and short story work. It wasn't just teachers, you know, it was like high school musicals and senior concert band and ski club trips to Blue Mountain and all of those things, but they were facilitated by the teachers and uh, they are all part of my journey. So if I was to sum up my experience with secondary teachers at John Diefenbaker, I would say intellectually demanding, experts in their subject matter and engaging. So when this Gray County girl headed off to the University of Toronto way back when to study English literature and history and sit under professors like Northrop Fry and um, Michael Bliss, I was well prepared because I had written essays, I had practiced my research skills, I had analyzed literature, and I'd been held to high account in preparation for my post-secondary journey. After graduation, I immediately came back to the, um, it was the Gray County Board at that time. I was um, interviewed along with a number of teachers and hired to a pool. At that time, it was a panel of trustees and principals that interviewed all of us in a, in a hotel room in Own Sound, I believe. <laughs> and, uh, um, of course, in keeping with my background in English literature and history, I was promptly required to teach secondary school science and special education. In 2015, I was um, privileged to be awarded with the Lauren Foundation Teachers Building Leaders Award by a former student who himself had won the $70,000 Lauren Foundation Scholarship. And if I could turn around and share that recognition with the many amazing teachers that shaped my development, I would. Um, you know, social media is a really powerful tool. And just last month on LinkedIn, I was able to connect a former student who is currently heading the rover mission on Mars for NASA with a current student who has just been accepted to aerospace engineering at Carleton. And though the Syrian refugee students that I taught um, last year have moved on to the Own Sound High School, they use email to share their report card successes with a few of us on staff, and they also share Instagram profiles where they update us on their daily activities. Um, last semester, I had an Australian exchange student um, who communicated um, recently through Facebook, um, thanking our history class for his amazing experience here in the Blue Water Board. And our commencement speaker at JDSS last fall was someone I was able to find through Facebook Messenger. Um, to speak, and he has been writing for Second City. He had a show running there for 11 months, and he was delighted to come back and honor his teachers and the, the staff at JDSS. So social media is really about connecting people to people, not institutions to institutions, and um, as a result of that, I think that you know um, the profile page is a great idea because it provides a platform for people to catch up with each other, I've engaged in lots of conversations with former teachers, students, colleagues, and parents since my profile was posted, and I'm sure others will as well. Next month is the Ministry of Education is actually publishing a, a revision to the Canadian World Studies curriculum, which I'm sure you know about, and it's in direct response to the Truth and Reconciliation Commission. And I, my understanding is that it's an Aboriginal custom to consider the wisdom of the knowledge keepers the ones who look after the space in which we find ourselves. So I'd really like to thank Jamie and, and the Blue Water Board for honoring staff members um, who willingly provide the space in which we as students and we as colleagues find ourselves presently. Thanks. You don't get to sit down just yet. Huge thanks to both uh, Heather and Kyle for, on short notice, making it here this evening to, uh, to share their experiences. Well, I, I can't top that. I mean, it's the, people, it's the people who tell the stories. So, thank you. So over the next uh, couple of months, what we're going to continue to do is highlight, um, we have uh, quite an extensive list. As I mentioned, we have uh, 50 plus, and we're still putting the call out there to uh, get more of these alumni profiles that we can feature um, through these, these various uh, channels. Um, but this is only phase one of the project. So um, what we're looking at doing uh, in a couple of months is um, 
highlighting some other staff and uh, graduates under different criteria. So for example, it, it might be um, you know, current staff who aren't necessarily Blue Water graduates or vice versa. And also um, some of our former graduates, they don't necessarily work for Blue Water, but they've gone on to uh, do some amazing things either locally or um, you know, out of our area. So we'll certainly be tracking down those stories as well as we continue with this campaign. And with that, we'll take any questions. Thank you, Mr. Pettit. Let me guess, it was the Inn in the Bay. The Inn on the Bay. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Trustees have any questions, comments? Student Trustee Wheeler. I have kind of a comment and a question. Uh, Mrs. Bender uh, was my history teacher for both grade 10 and 11. Uh, I have to say all those values that she was talking about earlier, she definitely holds herself. She has great enthusiasm for her job. She has excellent expertise in her field. And she's one of the most engaging teachers that I've ever had in my school experience so far. No doubt values instilled in her by uh, being at our previous schools. Uh, my question, we were talking a lot about similarities, but what are some of the major differences you see in our education system uh, compared to when you were students before? That's a huge question, Brandon. <laughs> There's a lot of changes, um, you know, not the least of which is technology. And I think one of the things, you know, we um, probably the Blue Water Board has struggled with this. There's lots of concerns about social media and there's lots of concerns about connecting with people. And I think that one thing that I have personally learned is that it has become a powerful extension of my own relationship with people, not a substitute, but an extension. So. For example, um, you know, Jamie referred to the fact that there were quite a number of hits on the Facebook page, but the truth is I have 500 friends on Facebook. I have connections to a lot of former students. And so, you know, that's how things spread. So I would say that um, technology is probably one of the, the biggest changes. Um, I would, you know, uh, one, of the, one of the challenges I think that education faces, and I, I need to not go on forever, but I mentioned the expertise of the teachers that taught me in their subject areas, and I think that's a challenge for the board to keep trying to keep experts in their field in, in the classroom because um, they are the ones that can bring the passion to what they're doing if they've, if they've been well-educated in what they're doing. Trustee Morgan. Could, could you use the mic, please, it's just so it's recorded for posterity? Thank you. I'd just like to say thank you um, for coming this evening and delivering your speeches with such humor. It was delightful. Vice Chair Johnstone. Yes, uh, I'll get you right after, Jane. So this is a kind of a comic commentary and, and perhaps followed by a question to Kyle um, in your position as a custodian. So one of my fondest memories when I was in elementary school was actually my school custodian because there wasn't, it wasn't educational. I mean, you, you, you know, you were treated differently um, and I had challenges in education and in school and so the custodian was uh, a really, you know, he was really wonderful and nice to me. And there was a position for that. And also will say that my youngest daughter just loved her school custodian in Ripley. And in fact, every day in grade one, she would go and give him a hug because his, I guess, area, his, you know, where all his stuff was, was really close to her classroom. So she'd run in and give him a hug. Do you find that um, students, you know, different students very much, I guess, value a very positive re relationship with Thank you. Questions or comments? 
Oh, that's right. I'm sorry. Trustee Thompson. I didn't see you there. Thank you, Trustee Thompson. Other questions or comments? Director Murray. Thank you. Uh, Chair Motts, uh, it's, it's um, so wonderful to have you here this evening, Heather and Kyle, and what you represent and the hundreds of other staff that you're, that are would be equally deserving of being here and who you represent. I'm extremely proud this evening and I just want to say you guys, did, you did an amazing job and we're just so, so proud of, of all of you. And so thank you very much. I think it's all been said. So I'm just going to say thank you so much too. And uh, Thank you to our communications officer for making this possible. Thank you. The motion read that the Blue Water District School Board received the Blue Water District School Board Alumni Profiles Report for information moved by Trustee Morgan, seconded by Trustee Thompson. All those in favor? Opposed, if any. Thank you. It's carried. Thank you so much, everyone. We have no delegations this evening, so we'll move on to reports. The, um, we have 11 motions coming out of a committee of the whole board. Uh, I chaired that committee, so I'll be moving each one of the motions, so I'll be looking for a seconder to uh, put it on the floor for approval. Um, again, just reminding everyone, these were discussed at length in the, in the committee of the whole when they come forward to the formal board for final approval. So <clears throat> there's not necessarily a, a lot of discussion at this point. First motion requiring a seconder that the Blue Water District School Board approve the Kincardine District Secondary School Healthy Activity Living Education Outdoor Activity Program trips. The Sogging River Canoe Trip May 24th, 2018 to May 25th, 2018 and the Algonquin Wilderness Canoe Trip June 9th, 2018 to June 13th, 2018. Could I have a seconder to put this on the floor, please? Thank you, Vice Chair Johnstone. Is there further discussion on this item? Seeing none, all those in favor? Opposed, if any? Thank you, it's carried. Second motion requiring a setter, a seconder that the Blue Water District School Board approve the 2018-2019 draft elementary and secondary school year calendar for submission to the Ministry of Education. Could I have a seconder for this, please? Thank you, Trustee uh, McComb. Any discussion on this item? Seeing none, all those in favor? Opposed, if any? Thank you, it's carried. Next motion that the Blue Water District School Board approve BP 2121D retention and disposal of psychological and speech language pathology records as revised for system use. Could I have a seconder for this, please? Thank you, Trustee Cavler. Discussion on this item. Seeing none, all those in favor? Opposed, if any? Thank you, it's carried. 
Next motion, Blue Water District School Board approved BP 7380D criminal background check as revised for system use. Could I have a seconder to put this on the floor, please? Thank you, Trustee Morgan. Any further discussion, comments? Seeing none, all those in favor? Opposed, if any? Thank you, it's carried. Next motion, the Blue Water District School Board approved BP 1606D consultation as revised for system use. Could I have a seconder for this, please? Thank you, Trustee Cameron. Any further discussion on this item? Seeing none, all those in favor? Opposed, if any? Thank you, it's carried. Motion that the Blue Water District School Board approve BP 1605D Partnerships in Education as revised for system use. Could I have a seconder for this, please? Thank you, Trustee Dawson. Any further discussion on this item? Seeing none, all those in favor? Opposed, if any? Thank you, it's carried. We have a motion that the Blue Water District School Board receive the Special Education Advisory Committee January 29th, 2018 report for information. Could I have a seconder to put this on the floor, please? Thank you. Thank you, Trustee Thompson. Any further discussion on this item? Seeing none, all those in favor? Opposed, if any? Thank you, it's carried. We have a motion that the Blue Water District School Board receive the Central Health and Safety Steering Committee December 7th, 2017, report for information. Could I have a mover for that, please? Thank you, Trustee Dawson. Is there any further discussion or questions about this item? Seeing none, all those in favor of the motion? Opposed, if any? Thank you, it's carried. Next motion, the Blue Water District School Board receive the Ministry of Labor visit report for information. Could I have a seconder to put this on the floor, please? Thank you, Trustee Dawson. Any further discussion on this item? Seeing none, all those in favor? Opposed, if any? Thank you, Carrie. The pile is getting smaller. I have a motion that the Blue Water District School Board receive the OSTA AECO student platform recommendations follow up report for information. Um, that's seconded by Vice Chair Johnstone. Any further discussion on this item? Seeing none, all those in favor? Opposed, if any? Thank you, it's carried. And the final motion coming out of the Committee of the Whole that the Blue Water District School Board approve and submit to the Ministry of Education the final version of the Blue Water District School Board Executive Compensation Program. Could I have a seconder to put this on the floor, please? Thank you, Trustee McComb. Any further discussion on this item? Seeing none, all those in favor? Opposed, if any? Thank you, it's carried. And that's all that came out of the Committee of the Whole Board. Moving on to the Business Committee, uh, Trustee Thompson normally chairs business and presents, but uh, it's a little hard to do that when you're at distance, so I will try to fill in for you. We have Two motions coming out of the committee. The first motion requiring a mover and a seconder is the Blue Water District School Board declare Sydenham Community School surplus to the needs of the board and disposed of in accordance with the Ontario Regulation 444-98. Could I have a mover to put that on the floor, please? Trustee Dawson, seconded by Trustee Morgan. Further discussion on this item? Seeing none, all those in favor? Opposed, if any? Thank you, it's carried. And the other item coming out of the business committee that the Blue Water District School Board allocate a community hub capital funding, minor retrofits, and accessibility funding to Paisley Central School for capital work that will enhance the opportunity for future partnerships at Paisley Central School. Could I have a mover to put that on the floor, please? Thank you, Trustee. Okay, Trustee Gavler, seconded by Trustee Thompson. Any further discussion on this item? Seeing none, all those in favor? Opposed, if any? Thank you, it's carried. 
And those are the motions coming out of business committee. We have uh, now the report from the committee of the whole in camera from February 20th, 2018. And I'll turn this over to Vice Chair Johnstone, who chairs committee of the whole in camera. Thank you, Chair Moss. So the following motion was approved during the in-camera session held earlier today. So I'm going to be looking for someone, I am going to be moving in looking for someone to second it. That the Blue Water District School Board approve the motion related to personnel as recommended by the committee as a whole in camera. Can I have a seconder? Thank you, Trustee Dawson. All in favor? Opposed? Carried. Thank you very much. That's in my report and motion. Thank you, Vice Chair Johnston. Do any trustees wish to bring forward a notice of motion at this time? The record show I see none. Committee establishment and appointments. Um, we have some appointments to be made to the Special Education Ad uh, Advisory Committee. Uh, Superintendent Callahan. Thank you. Yes, we're very excited. We have appointees that we're bringing to the board for Special Education Advisory Committee, or SEAC. And as per Ontario Regulation 464-97, we're required that members of the of SEAC and their alternates must be appointed by the Blue Water District School Board for the term of the Board of Trustees. And so this is these people that we're looking at this evening, these appointees, they would be the appointee for the term of 2014 to 2018. Thank you. We have four new representatives coming on the board, I believe, and we have motions for the four. I will have a motion requiring a mover and a seconder that the Blue Water District School Board appoint School Board appoint Alicia Rosenberg as a member of the Special Education Advisory Committee for the remainder of the 2014-2018 term, as nominated by Bruce Gray, Child and Family Services. Could I have a mover to put that on the floor, please? Thank you. Thank you, uh, Trustee Thompson, seconded by Trustee McComb. Is there any discussion on this appointment? Seeing none, all those in favor? Opposed, if any? Thank you, it's carried. Next motion, the Blue Water District School Board appoint Sandra Kilby as a member of the Special Education Advisory Committee for the remainder of the 2014-2018 term as nominated by Keystone Child, Youth, and Family Services. Could I have a mover for this, please? Thank you, Trustee Gabler, and the seconder, Trustee Dawson. Any discussion on this appointment? Seeing none, all those in favor? Oppo opposed, if any? Thank you. It's carried. Next, the Blue Water District School Board appoint Susan Soller, Sa Soller? As an, alternative mem as an alternate member of the Special Education Advisory Committee for the remainder of the 2014-2018 term as nominated by Bruce, Bruce Gray, Child and Family Services. Could I have a mover for that, please? Thank you, Trustee uh, Morgan. And seconder, Trustee McComb. Any discussion on this item? Seeing none, all those in favor? Thank, thank you, it's carried. The final appointment. Let the Blue Water District School Boy appoint Kathy Clark as an alternate member of the Special Education Advisory Committee for the remainder of the 2014-2018 term as nominated by Keystone Child Youth and Family Services. Could I have a motion to put this on the floor, please? Thank you, Trustee Gavin. And the seconder, Trustee Morgan. Any discussion on this appointment? Seeing none, all those in favor? Opposed, if any? Thank you, it's carried. Superintendent Callahan, you've got to save your voice tonight. I know you're losing it rapidly. Thank you. Thank you. Reports for information. Student Senate report. I believe Student Trustee Wheeler is presenting tonight. Student Trustee Wheeler. Good evening, everyone. 
Uh, so students across Blue Water are starting their second semester and are falling into the routine of their new classes and teachers. The optimism of students at this time of year is great as everyone realizes they're halfway to summer break. Uh, this time of year is perfect for school activities such as Canada Spirit Days during the opening of the Olympics, school dances, Valentine's-based events, and further great orientation events. Uh, the Senate has had some exciting discussion in terms of the future of student leadership in Blue Water, elementary student engagement and voice, and student Senate promotion as we head into the coming months. Uh, also, Ryan and I just had the opportunity to be in Ottawa for our second student trustee conference with OSTA this year from the 15th to the 18th. Uh, here we continued our professional development as well as advocated for rural students at the provincial level. I also had the chance to meet uh, trustee Johnstone's daughter, Alex, as she was sitting on a panel of OPSPA representatives. Um, uh, this was also a joint conference between the Ontario Student Trustees Association and RECFO, uh, who's the French student trustee organization, which basically just ensured that we had input from all students in all uh, sections of our education system. Uh, overall, the student trustees and senators of Blue Water look forward to the second half of the year and are excited about the progressions to come as a Senate and as a board. Thank you. And I'll take any questions if you have them. Thank you, uh, student trustee Wheeler. Questions for the student trustee. What kind of um, topics or what kind of discussion points were you looking at or what kind of sessions did you uh, partake in in, in Ottawa? Right. Uh, there was one actually that I really enjoyed. Uh, we had a request from our last conference to do something on public affairs training. Uh, so some of our executive members ran uh, discussions and presentations on media training and advocacy. Uh, and then after an hour of that, we split up into two groups. Uh, one of the groups was media and the other was supposed to be a board of trustees. Uh, we were given information on a group of schools and we were to decide a school in the board to shut down. And then we had to, the media would come in, <laughs> the media would come in and we would have to face their questions and use the training that we had just received uh, to promote our choice. Which, so that was a very interesting session that we took part in. <laughs> I wish we had have had that about three years ago. Thank you. <laughs> How did you make out? Which side were you on? I was, I was a trustee. Yeah. It was a very difficult decision. I can, after putting myself into a trustee's shoes, I can see how difficult the process really is. Good. No, it is a difficult process, that's for sure. Other questions for student trustee Wheeler? Seeing none, thank you for the report. Thank you. Oh, sorry. I just got tapped by the vice chair. So just for your, your future media events, if you ever were in that position, is always to remember that school boards actually don't close schools, but the Ministry of Education does. I think on that, thank you. Thanks. <laughs> Staff reports. I, need a, I require a motion here. Thank you. I have a motion that the Blue Water District School Board receive the Specialized Equipment Technology Demonstration Classroom Report for information. Could I have a mover to put this on the floor, please? Thank you, Trustee Morgan. And the seconder. Thank you, Trustee McComb. Superintendent Kala. Thank you. I am so excited tonight to be here and talk about the Specialized Equipment Technology Demonstration Classroom, which is a mouthful, so we call it Tech Demo Class. It's just easier to get it out. Um, I work with, and we were talking earlier tonight about staff, and I just work with these incredible staff, and three words always come to mind. Innovate, collaborate, create. And it always starts with an idea, and it's, it can be very, very quick. Sometimes as Tanya Schlosser, one of our staff, will talk about later. Sometimes it's just in the hallway and I'll go, I wonder if. It starts out with, uh, this isn't quite working yet. I wonder if, and then the staff all gathers around and something's created. So this was no different with the tech demo class. We revised the specialized equipment technology process about 2015, 16. We felt we could make some revisions and we were really excited about the work. Then last year we put it into play. Again, very excited about some of the changes, but the one piece we thought, were we really reaching and building capacity in staff? 
And that was one of the questions my staff had. And we come together and we talk about kids and are we reaching the kids the way we'd like to through the staff? And so I said, I wonder if, and then the staff went, yes, the tech demo class. What if we brought them together? We bring groups of staffs together in a demonstration classroom. There's no children. It's all about staff learning on behalf of students and on behalf of their particular students. They come together once a week with Tanya and the team, and, and Tanya will talk about the experience and learn together. And then they go back and they try it with their students and then they come back again. And it's just incredible. And we talked earlier about the safe and supportive environment for teaching, learning, and working. That's what they create in six weeks, in eight weeks. It's just incredible to, say, to see them come in, start learning, and then Tanya will talk about until they actually graduate. So I'm gonna turn it over to Tanya Schlosser and she's gonna to talk to you about the classroom. Amy, do I have to put the pictures up here? So good evening, everyone. Uh, I'm Tanya Schlosser. I'm the system special education instructional lead teacher. Um, it's quite a mouthful, Wendy made it up. I had to write it down. Um, <laughs> I have this wonderful team uh, that works with me. Uh, Michelle Steven is the specialized technology and learning teacher, and Donna Morrison, who is a speech and language pathologist with a, special, a specialized equipment focus. Um, unfortunately, they were both unable to be here tonight, so I'm very happy to be here to represent them. So the slideshow uh, that's scrolling along is just some shots from our demonstration classroom, and we just thought that as we chatted, it would give you a chance to have a look and see what does it look like. So the classroom is, was designed to model an ideal learning environment. It has flexible seating, a variety of levels in tables and chairs, and a calm, collaborative space to offer learners choice. Um, it's housed at Chesley District, uh, down in the room just off the library. Every round of educators visits the classroom for six to eight weeks. While they develop their skills in understanding psychological profiles, creating IEP goals and learning profiles, use of assistive technology, lesson planning, assessment, sorry, and more in a flexible, collaborative style setting. Guest experts from Blue Water and beyond via Skype join us to further the, and extend the learning. The program supports student achievement and well-being. It builds educators' technology, instructional assessment skills, and their informal leadership capacity, and it further streamlines resources. To date, we've had nine classroom teachers and 17 learning resource teachers go through the program. The schools involved have been from Ripley, Beavercrest, High Point, Egremont, Peninsula Shores, Northport, McPhail, Holland, Chatsworth, Beaver Valley, Lucknow, Hepworth, Keppel Sarawak, East Ridge, Hanover Heights, and Chesley District. We have also hosted invitational sessions, both for elementary and secondary resource teachers from a wide variety of schools to support the use of assistive technology during EQAO. So here's what some of our learners had to say. It was great. I liked that we could go back and digest what we did that week and then go back a week later and learn something new. I've already done a presentation at a staff meeting and I've met with a classroom teacher and I helped her set up a class notebook. I'm making sure that everyone is aware of the resources available to them and that I'm following up with support when it comes to trying to implement them. And this was a teacher that said, I know nothing about technology when she started. Being together in this room with the other teachers and the team gives me ideas about programs to explore that I thought would be beneficial for students in our building. Without this network and the gift of time to explore, I wouldn't have known where to start. Teachers don't have to know everything about technology before we put it in front of our students. Students can also be teachers for teachers. Our team has thoroughly enjoyed providing this program to our staff. Our biggest takeaway has been the length of time that gives our staff a chance to build relationships with the teachers in the group. Instead of just two hours, we have had days to get to know each other, recognizing strengths, needs, personalities, and learning styles. It helps us tailor the program to meet the instruction for every teacher and every school and ensure that they get the support and instruction they need, just like a regular classroom. We've seen a positive impact on students at the schools involved and their teachers are supporting them with new and innovative technology and pedagogy. We have also had interest from other boards about the Demo Classroom program and how we are supporting this professional learning in the area of special education, 
technology in 21st century learning. Thank you. Um, thank you. Well, can you roll back one, Jamie? Roll back one slide. I know that's possible or not. I guess you're not in charge of that. You're in charge of the camera, aren't you? <laughs> Tell me about those chairs. They're really fun to sit on. <laughs> they're a little more difficult for me to get out of, but they're really <laughs> fun to sit on. What it looks like is a, a, a proper, a yoga, sophisticated... Yeah. Ball. Yoga ball. Yeah. It's a yoga yeah. ball and it's got a little thing on it. Yeah. Perfect. That holds it in and then it's got a backrest too. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you. I just I saw those and smiled. Thank you. Questions from trustees. Uh, yes, Trustee Thompson. When I've been talking to other superintendents, I haven't seen anything like this yet, um, whether it's around specialized equipment and working with on a regular basis. I haven't heard of that yet. It doesn't mean it doesn't exist. It's just as I've been chatting with people, we haven't heard it. And as Tanya was alluding to, we have had another board that's asked us if we would share some of the work that we're doing. It would sound like we're in a leadership position again. I like that. Other questions from trustees? I'm really, I'm really impressed by this. I think this is such a great idea to, to bring staff together like this and just actually get to try some of the stuff out and get some of that feedback and some of the, the cross-fertilization that you get from that kind of a group. So I'm really impressed by this, and I think this is just a terrific, terrific thing you're doing. So thank you. And on behalf of the other trustees, thank you. So the motion moved by Trustee Morgan, seconded by Trustee McComb, that the Blue Water District School Board receive the Specialized Equipment Technology Demonstration Classroom Report for information. All those in favor? Opposed, if any. Thank you. It's carried. We have some correspondence. I didn't go through the folder before because I got a little carried away with time. But uh, it's a summary. We have received a summary of the ETOFO um, education at all member survey workplace violence report. It was uh, received back in the first week in February. Uh, it's there. Uh, all trustees have had a copy of it, I believe. And it would come through electronically to you. It just is a survey results of... Uh, violence in classrooms is uh, recorded by ETFO and uh, that's across the province so please take a look at that communications and announcements student trustees trustees staff ministry education OPSPA vice chair Johnstone you want to start the ball yeah so um, uh, school school trustees in I'm just looking at the date, January 25th to 27th. We attended the PES conference in Toronto. We were, our board was well represented. Not only did we have five trustees, but also our director came uh, later on because she was already at part seven, 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 I thought it was five. There you go. And also one student trustee, um, is it Brand Brandon? Ryan. 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 And uh, so that was, I, I have to say for myself as a trustee, I thought it was really great that Ryan attended. I know that he was, he was uh, really, really, um, I think, surprised about different things he learned, you know, from some, say, other student, student trustees. And of course, from, uh, they had some training that was uh, provided by, I, I guess, uh, some younger trustees in the province and also our OPSPA board lawyer. So now they, they've been now been armed in a, in a way, just to let you know that. Um, I, I know that other trustees are going to want to say something. I, I um, wanted to say that my favorite 
um, presentation. Um, why we were there was by, and I'm going to say his name wrong, Zong, Yong, Zhao, Dr. Zhao. And he talked about the perils or promises education in the age of smart machines. But I thought he was really amazing. He did a slideshow, or, or it wasn't a slideshow, but normally when speakers speak, you know, um, that they, you know, they kind of have a format and everything kind of flows like that where, you know, like a slot from one slide to the next. This, this presenter did not do that. He didn't have any like notes or anything, but it, so he had a whole page up of, of kind of pictures and this thing would roll up and down and he would, you know, whatever he was talking on, he would just pick the picture or the slide he was, was talking about. We were totally engaged in that. And I also realized for some, uh, must have been a psychological effect that kept you paying attention. But his main thing was, was really, and I, I know that uh, Alanda is going to say about Kardashian, but you know, whatever her name is, I don't obviously pay attention to the stars in the world. But he was really talking about, you know, the change, you know, the traditional education paradigm shift. And, and that, you know, and that we needed to be mindful of that and because it's a different world. And I, I really um, appreciated that. And then he, the next day he had a kind of a question and answer session. And that was, you know, so it was almost like um, putting in more learning and where we could engage with him um, in, the, in kind of what the things he was talking about. And if anybody else would like to add it, you know, whatever their favorite workshop or anything like that. Great. Hey, Trustee Morgan was up first. I would just like to add to Jan's comments about Dr. Zong. Thank you. Um, I sort of likened him to the um, squirrel and ice age. I have no idea what it's like living inside that man's brain, but it was amazing. He was just wonderful to listen to. Sounds like I missed a real party. Yeah. <laughs> Any other comments? Trustee McComb. I always look forward to meeting our Minister of Education. And uh, it seems every year or every other year or every third year there's a new one. But uh, anyway, it's very... Uh, it's very interesting meeting each one for the first time and seeing what they have to say. Yeah, we seem to burn through ministers of education really quickly. I don't know why. <laughs> Trustee Doss. Thank you, Chairman. For me, uh, one of the uh, more, most interesting, I really enjoyed that one, but there was a presentation about drugs, and there's a survey that's been done in Ontario since the 1970s about drug use among youth in our province and some of the statistics surprised me and some generally drug use seems to be decreasing within our youth and uh, I found that enlightening it was also a bit scary with the legalization of marijuana to see that that trend is not so much decreasing it was a very eye-opening and uh, interesting presentation thank you trustee Gabler So the presentation I'll mention is um, <coughs> the, uh, the one by Kevin Lamour, and he's uh, involved with the, the Truth and Reconciliation uh, Committee, and he's head of something, I think it's in Winnipeg, if I recall, <coughs> Manitoba, whatever. Anyway, uh, yeah, he talked, he talked about his, his um, work and uh, talked about the treaty mentioned the, the um, saying that, that we've heard more, more recently, we are all treaty people, and, and so you know, his main message was that it's up to all of us, it's not just indigenous people that need to work on it or improve things or whatever, it's, it's up to non-indigenous people as well. Trustee, other trustees before I go to the director who wants to talk about Kim Kardashian. Yeah. 
Director Murray. <laughs> Dr. Zhao had trouble saying it correctly, but but I, I just loved what he had to say about this. He ta he talked. For, first of all, I thought one of the the key points and. And um, Trustee Johnstone actually talked about this earlier today, but it, he said children are born different and the difference is valuable. And that uh, talent has to be triggered. And we all have talents. And that, um, and then he was talking about uh, <laughs> um, that sometimes we think uh, people are useless, but that we all have value. And he shared that he really liked the story of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. And, um, and, 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 that, and, then, and then made the, which I thought was the statement of the evening about Kim Kardashian. And, you know, he says, how the useless becomes useful. Um, Kim Kardashian, and if she can become useful, anyone can become useful. <laughs> so I thought that was a key moment. But he was very, very interesting. And, it, and uh, he could just talk and he could pull, you know, examples from his pack of, of slides and that to, to emphasize everything. But I, I just thought it was a refreshing um, and different uh, presentation than we, than we often hear. Um, and I think there was a lot of buzz in the room after and a lot, of, I didn't, I didn't, uh, I wasn't able to go to the session the next day because I was at a, a code meeting, but um, I, I felt there was a lot of buzz in the room about his presentation. Certainly it impressed people around this table. Vice Chair Johnstone, you have the final comment. And it was about the same um, presenter was that we'd actually invited the ministry to come and stay and, and listen to him because he really challenged us to talk, you know, thinking about the testing, the amount of testing and that um, um, for most of the testing, when we're talking about those special gifts, you, you can discover those gifts within that testing. So he was really challenging that, that idea because many special gifts, you know, and talents of students will be missed because it's not something that we actually test for. And I think that was also very much a, a key message. And yeah, we really wanted the ministry to stay and hear that. Um, <laughs> Director Murray. He, he's he's a professor in the U.S., but I thought his opening line what got everyone's attention, and that was that we were, that we were all stupid. <laughs> Um, so I thought that was, uh, and that's how he started, and, and basically saying we aren't thinking about um, this as fully as we could be. And it made me think about our mission, um, which is you know, preparing our students today for the world of tomorrow, because he talked about how important it is for, that students write their own future, and that we, we recognize um, their talents and, and provide pathways to explore those talents, but they write their own future. And I just thought that was an interesting, uh, another way for us to think about how we're preparing our students and are we preparing them to prepare their own future. And so I thought that was interesting. Yes. Any other announcements? Seeing none, any conferences that we're going to, uh, conferences, out of town meetings, Vice Chair Johnstone. Um, it, it, I have a Board of Directors, uh, Ontario Public School Board of Directors meeting this coming weekend, and I know that I found in my, my envelope, and you would have too, has to do with the OPSPA regional meeting coming up, which is April 6th, 7th, we're the host, remember? Anyway, I'll be talking to them more, you know, because I know there had been a kind of like a survey that um, our um, Vice President for the region had put out about asking what, if we were interested or if the, if the uh, trustees in the region were interested in doing some um, you know training you know training and stuff so I'm going to get more information on that and then depending on what they decide which is includes us if you know you were also asked um, they will decide if we're doing a, a module for example on reconciliation so anyway that's all I have to report Thank you, Vice Chair Johnston. I think we're just about there for the evening. If you check um, your calendar of events, uh, it's all fits on one page now. That's kind of like hitting mid-semester, halfway to summer, when we get everything on one page. 
I have a motion that the Blue Water District School Board adjourn at 8.15 p.m. Could I have a mover for that, please? Thank you, Trustee Gabler, seconded by Trustee McComb. All those in favor? Opposed, if any? Thank you, it's carried. Good night, everyone, safe home. Good night, Trustee Thompson. Short trip for you.